here on, uh, with uh, the Facebook family. So here we go. Here is Reverend well, praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord He has made. I will and you should rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome again to another edition of King David Ministries with your host, Pastor Eddie L. Royal. Senior, I am the pastor of King David Ministries. And we thank and praise God for you. Well, continuing on, my assignment is what I've learned about the and learning and continue to learn about the kingdom. Um, that's for right here and right now. In traditions and in, in the traditional church that I went in and uh, was raised up in, it's not like what it is now. They, those folks were more, they, they, they were solid. They, they, that was their livelihood. They weren't going to play church and they weren't going to have no mess. However, the thing that I've learned in regards to the kingdom, because much of it, and I've heard a lot of songs, you know, about over yonder. Uh, there are things that I, I, I've learned, talked about, carried me, and, and we've sung them. Carried me from mansion to mansion. Now, I'm looking at that according, I think, uh, of all the apostles, all of them were executed except one. I think John on the Isle of Patmos. I didn't even know that uh, the Gospel of Luke, Luke was a physician as I understand it. However, Luke was not one of the original twelve. Now, I passed that by, and I know in the book of Matthew, it talked about it, but I, but I actually thought that Luke was the original twelve, but he was not. But see, if you look at the book of Luke, uh, not Luke, and read it, rather, he is more detailed in his writing other than the other Gospels because he was a physician. He was a doctor. Uh, amen. So I keep reading about in, in uh, about the, the 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 kingdom of God, and our tradition ha has got it. Whereas it's more over yonder than it is right here. But that's not true. It's right here now. The, what our problem is is that we don't see it. But according to the word of God. I've been reading it and then I've been listening to what Sister Chandler's father used to say and I it, we you now others are using it. This has been there all the time. Read it for yourself. It doesn't make sense for God to get men to write this book. Why? Is to get it into this realm. We don't hear too many sermons about that. Okay, why would you get in this realm? Why? Because this realm is not is not the original. Show sure is quiet. This realm, a man, is a duplicate of heaven. Here now. Amen. And what's being done here now should supposed to have been done in heaven first. That's why Jesus, when they asked Jesus, teach us to pray. Jesus said, our Father who is not here. Now, think about that. Our Father who is not here. God never had a body. So, therefore, a amen, he had to send Jesus. To get this thing straight. Amen. Our father who's not here. So therefore the unseen realm of heaven. Amen. Is that that God created this realm. Has got to be more real than this one. Look at the word of God. Okay. And see that when God created this. He said, in the beginning, and I, I was, I'm ahead of myself 
but we're going to talk about, if I get there, about kingdom impact. We talked about it in some earlier sessions, but this is a true fact. It's already here, but we're trying to prepare ourselves to go from mansion to mansion. According to what John saw in the Isle of Patmos, he didn't mention that. He talked to angels, he saw angels, he saw that, but he ain't seen nothing about no mansions and the mansion next to Jesus. Now think about this. Now, and then I'll do some more. Why would you need a mansion and your spirit? Because there are only three people that have bodies in heaven is Enoch. Eli, they walked in heaven, in heaven and Jesus. But they're glorified bodies in order to be in the presence of, of God. Mm -hmm. Now, and remember this. When Jesus was on the cross, the, the man asked him, Remember me when, I, when you come to your kingdom. Jesus said, Amen. You will be with me in paradise. So, now we've been singing about walking the streets of gold. Mansion to mansion. Walking around, you know, there's a song that they sing. They don't live here anymore but they're somewhere around the throne of God I don't think so but see it's, it's a relief see this is this is not right it's here so John didn't see mansions that I said I just I I keep a look at it a, a, more of a, a look at it. Uh, it, 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 it it's not about walking the streets of gold and then as I uh, you know, we talked about slavery, uh, us as uh, as people of color, and in slavery, what we have gone through. Amen. The 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 the, the, the slave masters and say, well, you know, you got it rough now. You're a slave, but over yonder in the sweet by and by, when you die, you'll go to sea, and that's what we adopted. That's not what it is at all. Hmm. God is no respecter, but if he created all of us, that is found in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4. I said it last week, I'll say it again. I'm running out of time already. Listen. Nobody that has a body, this is again in the word of God. Listen to me. We're, this is not what we have done Especially when we talk about Christianity has made it a religion like everybody else. Amen. And that is not what Jesus brought back. If it is, then you prove it. But we have made it a religion. We go to church because it's something to do. That is if you go and that's it. It'll make you comfortable. In whatever you're dealing with, if you're dealing with anything. But what about kingdom life here now? And Jesus brought back what man lost. Kingdom. The word said this is not a Christmas verse. Isaiah chapter 9 verses 6 and 7. First of the 6 says unto us a child. Because 7 that's where the hoop comes in to make you feel good. Unto us a child is born, unto us the son is given, and the government, he brought back a government, will be upon his shoulders. He also as came as a servant, carrying something for somebody, which is God, and God sit, put him in a body. That's right, because even though the devil never found out that the, the way Jesus got here was to a woman. Amen. So he had to get a body. Can't you see that? So, it's not about Oviana. We, we, I understand that. Please, I, I, in, in two days, in two days I'll be 73 years old by the grace of God. 73. 73. By the grace of God. And, 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 and it's no need to keep preaching to me. And I will not preach it to you about dying. 
You're going to do that. That is if the trumpet sounds first. But there is a condition. And you won't preach about it, will you? That's in Psalm 24, 14. When this gospel of the kingdom is preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, then the end, that is the condition, will come. That's when Gabriel will blow a trump. And what you're in a hurry for? When you got to, I saw a man today. I pulled up next to him at a light. That's hitting himself in the head. Dirty, nasty. That's a mental thing. What about them? That you said we are so comfortable in a building that's not the church. And tell the truth, Pastor, that building is not the church. It's the people. But you made them think that. And you're wrong. Well, who are you, Eddie, to, uh, 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 to, to, to say that? It's in the book. In the beginning, I mean, uh, on this rock, I'll build my church. Jesus said that. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Church, ecclesia, ecclesia, a group of called out ones. That's people, not that building. Because when you leave that edifice, amen, that your membership stops. Now, what about your kingdomship? If you don't know anything about it, you just, you know, you just wide open. And the devil knows all this because he was, he was in, with God in eternity past. He saw him create all this. Amen. A -a 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 Amen. So it's not about a relief. It's a kingdom impact here. Psalms 81. Sing aloud to God our strength. Make a joyful shout to the God of Jacob. Well, praise God. Lord, we thank you for the word, the anointing that is on the eternal word of the living God. We give you praise. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Before I go on, one of the things I've been doing for the last two weeks, and uh, we are going to continue to do it. And I, I, I wish for those of us that are, are pastors and preachers, and especially if you have youth, we've been reaching out men. Sister Chandler and Pastor Wade, me, me on Friday night. Uh, Pastor Wade was not here last Friday, but me and Sister Chandler was, and she talked about uh, uh, about the women, the death of her uh, only child. A, 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 a man and, and that that needs to be talked about, and what she went through, and and about multiple births. I've been talking about drug and alcohol now, and I and I'm saying this. I don't care, especially with you. If you don't tell them you what up in your sermon, I don't care if it ain't but one there. Well, that's to the parent. Pastors, I'm warning you. I'm warning you now. God has already told me, spared in my spirit, amen, spoken to me. He said, I want to get involved in this life and we have knocked him out of it we talked about god god ain't here but he wants to get involved why our children it ain't our future they're here now and if that you belong to a local church okay and even if you don't i need to tell you. now whatever you've done in the past and remember everybody sister chavis said that I, i'm saying it Everybody's got a past, and you ain't the only one, nobody. And if you are a pastor or preacher or whatever it is that you're preaching to people, bring some of it out so somebody can hear some and get some help. Hear. Maybe that might save that if you uh, some youth are living, some 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 child a youth life. Say it. Talk about something. Not just a hiccup a shire and, uh, and, and reading the word. Talk about you about your life. And what and the and, 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 and the things that maybe you have gone through that the devil took you that, that you allowed the devil to take you through maybe because you didn't know why because the word said my people are destroyed for a lack of I ain't writing none of this 
And if the pastor don't say something, because I know I will. So that these last two Friday nights, that's what I've been talking about. We've been talking about we've been talking about that the the kingdom, but I'm talking about my past. And as and as a, as a preacher of the gospel, I'm going to say it. Now, if I can help one or more, but especially to our youth, some of you, some of you uh, may have a, uh, a church full of youth. It's more to it than having them on a praise team, singing, shouting. You and you don't tell them about now because they fought bigger that the pastor ain't really. They, they two feet off the ground like we put Jesus is two walking two feet out off the ground. Never heard you say anything about your past that may be able to help them. Because they figure, well, if they're going to my church and you don't have a church, I'm going to say it again. You do not have a church. If you look at 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 1 through 4, it says, Shepherd the flock, what? Of God, not Eddie Royal, or not yours. I know you don't like it, but that's the way it is. And you're going to have to talk about it. And so that's what I've been doing. So, one of the things that I've used is this one right here. I caught up. And, and, and what I'm emphasizing in, the, in this book also by caught up. I was raised in church. I was the firstborn of Greater New Light Baptist Church. Again, I was born July 29th, 1951 in Southgate, California, right, right uh, I think Alameda was the next big main street over. Then you got the backside of Watts. But over there, there were very few black babies being born. But I was because Dr. The, the Harwood's brother, Dr. Bob, Dr. Bill, and Dr. Fred at Suburban Hospital, amen, they were our doctors, and that's where I was born. That's what they tell me. I was born at Suburban Hospital, and I was raised in church. I had no choice, okay, while well, I was raised in church. But I, because I was, you was raised in church, and because they are sitting at your church, don't mean that the devil ain't mess with it. You don't say something, because I am, and you cannot say don't look at Eddie Roy. Don't look at Sister Chandler. Don't look at... Wait, no, no, no. You can't tell them that. Why? Because, First Peter said, not as lords over those entrusted to you. Lord means owner. You're in violation, pastors. Because you made yourself a lord over the people. I can't understand how you can talk about somebody and then get a, make them mad because they haven't been given enough. Show is quiet after you talked about them. Because the church is on the free will offerings of the people. So because I was in church don't mean that I didn't get, get caught up. And I went through that last night. Pull up that live stream on Facebook. It'll, it'll tell you everything. I went from where I was raised in Watts. No, I'm just out of time. Raised in Watts to my naval career. I'm a Navy veteran. Disabled veteran. A -a Amen. I came up in Watts. Amen. The first born of greater new life. Read, get this book. I'm having copies made. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. But especially to our youth. That's how I got caught. Don't tell me because they're in your church. I don't care. I'm going to tell them anyway. Whether they ever go through it or not. But at least. At least. Work. I can tell them in my messages or on whatever medias that I use, amen, so they can understand for those that want to hear it, amen, so they can know what I've been through. Out of all that, the older I got, the more the devil was showing me the, the, the bright side of life, even in my navel spirit. Read this. Read this. The youth need to understand this. The youth need to know how I got caught up in it, amen, my thoughts. Ended up with addiction. Because I smoke, you, you talking about weed, man. I smoke tons of it. Drank it. Still in church. The first time, that's why this one came up. And I wrote for the youth. But we know you called First Steps to Hell. Amen. First Steps to Hell. 17 years old. Especially you, you these two books. You know, pastors, if 
I'll give them to you. I don't want you to have them. My kids can't have them. Well, if they come to me, I'm going to give it to them. Okay? So they can read it. If, if, if they come to me, or they ask me, Pastor Roy, can I, can I get one? I'll give it to them. So you can't tell them they can't. Now, now I know I'm right. I know I'm right about this one. Amen? Because everybody got a pass, and you ain't the only one know about it. Why don't you preach about it? Say something. Somebody knows about it, or somebody participated in it. I know. I got a pass too. And I and I share most of it right here in these two books. 17 years old, dropping Red Devil. Sunday school organist. Sunday school organist. I was almost, I, I think I turned 17 years, getting, you know, I'm going into, actually, I think I was in the 12th grade, Fremont High School. That's, that's when I started dropping Red Devils. Because I want to be part of the in crowd. Listen to me. And I, and I smoked, I mean smoke. Took too many uh, F, F-40s because it was stronger. Amen. And I couldn't come because we were getting ready for the prom. To get, I got measured for it. And, um, and, and uh, got home, couldn't come down. Daddy showed the woes up after my mama you know, said something. I must have said something wrong. And, 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 and anyway, well, out of all that said, my mama's sister called her. They always talked and said, um, then I come home, I'm 17 years old, almost 18, and he like, put Leonard on the phone, that's my middle name, and said, um, what did you take, boy? I told her, I said, well, I was a red devil. She said, you know what, I can hear you out on the phone, this is, was in 1968 or 69, probably 69, I was 69, said, you know, you just taking your first steps to hell. And some of these youth has already done it. I see more funerals, youth funerals, on YouTube than well, bodies laying up there, young people. And in two days I'll be 73. My auntie, sister Dorothy Shell. See, I've been around. I've been around most and most of you pastors. But you don't want to listen. Because you've been around that good old boys thing for so long. Okay? Do so you want to listen? I'll give it to him. She said, Ned, are you just taking your first steps to hell? Think about that. You, if you're out there right now, listen to me. Pastors are telling you the right thing. So get these books. Caught up. Caught up. Caught up. Caught up. Yeah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. all I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. And as if you go, you may not go to those church. I'm trying to help. I know some people right now. That it's worse than that. The fentanyl. The lean. I have a, a somebody I knew. Child took the fentanyl and dropped dead. I prayed with him. I talked to him. It hurt him bad. It wasn't like that. That could have happened to me. I've smoked more, more PCP than the law allowed. My mind, when I went to the VA, I could have been, I'm so glad to be a veteran, I don't know what to do. I went in there late, but I am glad, I'm honored to be a United States veteran of the United States Navy. Amen. And I, and, and I walked around there and I talked to him. He said, my son is what you just fell dead. I'm trying to help you. They found me dead in the bathroom on leave. You hear me? On leave. That's why it's in here. On leave. Found me dead. You hear me? Dead. I was on 90. Seventh off of Vermont over a play cousin of mine. I was at, I was on leave. I was I I'd been drinking. 
sh sherm, uh, acid, everything. I went in the bathroom and died. And God brought me back. God, I thank you. This was 1978. And when I, and even in the military, I was working for a chaplain. I went to uh, 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 Washington, the state of Washington, ended up praying for a church in Tacoma. So don't talk to me about this, about being in the church. I should be talking about something else, but I guess this is what the Lord wanted. I do want to read this. You, and see, and for you that are drug addicts, you should read this so you pastors can understand and know, a, a, a man, how to deal with them folks that's going to come into you. Do not have those folks. They're going to start coming to church that's been out there. God going to deliver them. And you set them down there. They want to join church and you set them and put them in auxiliary. Amen. God, that is God is our boss. And that is not what they want. What God wants. And they're going to tell you about it too. I didn't come here to be talk, uh, uh, talk to and about uh, uh, offering. I need some help. Don't send me down in no auxiliary and ask me for tithes and offerings. And if you been a pastor for 40, 30 years, you ought to be a multi-millionaire. Prior to the pandemic, maybe even bef uh, uh, before that, you know, as uh, uh, doing your pastoral a week. If you've been pastoring 30, 40 years, you should be well, well financially secure. That's tax-free money. I know. Been there, seen it. Raised in it. I know. I've been there. I know how, they, how it works. Been around. As a musician and raised in at at church, been around hundreds across the nation. And I know, seen it done, work with them. Amen. First steps. I mean, when death looks sweet, that's another one. You pastors, you shouldn't. This is one you should look at too. Read it. I I ain't, I ain't read nothing you got to say. I know it. But somebody will, because I'm trying to help. A a amen. I know that I'm gonna leave you with this. Cause we already this is the and you have to preach to him about the kingdom. God going to heaven does not fulfill God's will. Dominating earth fulfill God's will for us. That's what we need. Man never fell from heaven. He fell from rulership. Religion prepares people for leaving us. Well, I talked about earlier. Kingdom equips people to rule earth. The kingdom focuses on occupation. Religion focuses on evacuation. The church is oriented for rapture. That's what I'm talking about. And there is no anointing for kingdom impact. Mm -hmm. We're focusing on going to heaven. But we need to be focusing on the impact the world with the kingdom on earth. I'm out of time. Okay, get these books, especially two of you. Uh, that is if you have youth in there. Or you can't tell me, well, I'm, I'm putting it in there. Okay, you get these books. It's two our youth. And we've been having it. And two more weeks, we'll have another service on Friday night. Okay, and, that's, and tomorrow will be the same thing. 2000 East Mariposa Avenue at the Sinesta Select. The parking is free. Okay, I'll be ministering, sound be ministering. You just drive, almost drive right up to the door and walk straight on in. Okay, and then two weeks from there, we'll be right back for our Friday meeting. Amen. If you want to be there, please be there. Okay, and that's the Sinesta Select. Sinesta Select, 2000 East Mariposa Avenue. Okay, and that's in the city of El Segundo. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm just going to keep putting it as, as the Lord wills. The Lord, you know, uh, you know, we have to be, you know, be obedient to, to God. We've forgotten that. And, and why are you so hard on pastors? I ain't hard on pastors. The pastor should have known what's, should know what's happening. And you missed the mark, most of you. If the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. But pastors, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, officers of the court, as God. As also of the of the church as the attorney's officer of the court. We love you out of time. Okay, uh, we'll see you at the Sylvester Select on tomorrow. Bye bye.
You have been listening to King David Ministry with Reverend Eddie Royal Sr. The ministry can be heard. Okay, we're out of time. We thank God for you. We hope to see you tomorrow. Okay.